Yo, what's going on you guys and welcome to the A-Ray Show. So over the last month or so, the stock market has just been selling off constantly, leading to a lot of buying opportunities. And it looks like we're finally getting somewhat of a reversal. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a screener to find out these oversold companies so that you guys can jump in on these juicy, juicy discounts. So if you guys wanna see that, stay tuned and cue that intro. So we're going to be creating this simple screener on the Webull platform. And for those of you guys that don't know what Webull is, it's another trading brokerage similar to Robinhood. It just has so much more analytical tools that Robinhood doesn't. And that's why it's so great. For example, the screener we're about to build. You can also do it on other platforms if you don't have Webull, such as finviz.com. But we're going to stick to Webull just because it's simple to use and tons of people already have Webull. And by the way, if you don't have Webull, you can join it by going to the link in my description and using my referral code. You'll also get some free stocks. You don't have to use mine if you have any friends that are already on Webull, but I would highly recommend joining Webull just because it has so many tools. And if you're trying to up your game, Webull is a perfect platform to do that. So with that being said, let's hop into the tutorial. So if you're on the desktop version and you're on the home screen, you're going to hop over to the trading section. So you're just going to click on trade. And if you're on the mobile version, all you're going to do is hit the more button on the home screen and then click on screener. It's as simple as that. So you'll see the screener button over here on the desktop version and it'll pull up a bunch of stocks over here and then a bunch of options to play around with to build your screener. So we're just going to stick to a simple screener. So we won't do anything too crazy. We just want to see the stocks that have been oversold. By the way, if you don't know what an oversold company or stock is, basically all it means is for whatever reason, the stock is not getting that much love and investors are just selling out of it. So it doesn't necessarily mean just because it's oversold that it's going to bounce up right away. It could take a long time, but with the market the way it is right now, there's probably tons of companies and stocks out there that have just been oversold like crazy and will eventually bounce up with the market, but there's no guarantee of that. So just use it as a tool and do some more research before investing into these stocks. But with that being said, these are the options that you're going to be able to play with. So we're just going to leave this right over here. We're not going to touch that. This quote indicator right here has to do with the market cap. So the market cap is totally up to you the way you want to customize it. Personally, I don't like to have it include a bunch of penny stocks because I'm honestly the worst penny stock investor. So I keep it typically at half a billion or 500 million, so like 0.5. And then I like to also include big companies. You really don't have to if you don't think you want to spend too much money these are like the apples and microsoft's and those big large market cap companies but it's totally up to you if you want to just do for penny stocks or if you want to just do for large companies or all of it it's however you like but personally this is how i like to have mine for a market cap at least and then by the way this will just show you all the total matches that you have so all of these stocks but we kind of narrow it down a little bit more so we're not going to even bother touching the financial indicator if you're a little bit more advanced feel free to do it but like i said this is just going to be a simple screening and we're just not going to try to overcomplicate things and do tons of stuff. But like I said, feel free. This is your screener. You can customize it however you feel comfortable. But that being said, for the technical indicator, we're going to hit RSI 6 oversold. And this is pretty much it. You're just After that, you're just going to save your screener and name it. But these are going to be the 69 results. Nice. That are all going to be oversold companies within my market cap limitations. So something to keep in mind is just because it's one of the results doesn't mean it's a great investment. You want to look more into it. And like I said before, sometimes an oversold company could be oversold for a really, really long time. So you don't want to end up investing to a company just because it's one of your results and end up spending months and months of time waiting for it to finally eventually bounce back. So I'm just going to scroll through to see if I have any companies here that I know just to kind of show you guys what I mean. Um... Let's see if I know any. So go EV. So canoe. So let's click on that right over here. So this is the chart for canoe or ticker symbol G O E V. And this probably isn't the best example because it's a SPAC, but you can see that the peak was $24 and 90 cents. And now it's crashing all the way down to $8 and 16 cents. This could potentially be a great buying opportunity, but it can also just keep selling off. Like I said before, this isn't the best example, so I'll show you guys another one. All right, so this is another result that we got on our oversold screener. It's ticker symbol H-U-Y-A, La Media Huya. All jokes aside, this is a stock that Kathy Woods has inside of an ARK ETF 
and this one could be a potential buy opportunity if you take a look it's been red candle sticking down and one of the tips that i would recommend is not being too impatient and as soon as you see a dip just kind of hopping in just because it's on your screener you never know if it might dip down more you kind of want to wait for a consolidation period do some research and kind of just wait to see when it bounce backs because who knows it could bounce back right away or it could take a long time but yeah, with that being said, let me know if you guys like the screener and if this tutorial helped. If you have any comments or questions or anything like that, you guys can email me or leave a comment. I'll reply either way. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. And like I said, it means a lot if you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really does. We're a growing community and it's been fun making videos. So if I was able to help you guys, it really does mean a lot. Let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, comment. Oh yeah, I don't know why. Um, it just, just do it. <laughs> With that being said, that's it. Catch you guys later. And remember guys, everybody eats.